We have a whole lot of Amazon beauty and fashion to get through today. I'm really excited about that. But don't forget that I'm announcing the giveaway winners for three different giveaways on the past three videos in this video today. So we better get into it. friends. I hope that you're all doing very well. I am very excited to be here today because not only have I found you and me some absolutely fantastic Amazon finds, but we are also going to announce the winner of the giveaways that I posted in the three videos just prior to this. So I'm excited to announce all of you, but I'm not going to announce all of you at once, and I'm not going to announce all of you in the beginning. You're going to have to watch the whole video to find your name somewhere in here. I know I'm sneaky. I just want you to watch the whole video. But before we get into the products, I'm going to tell you that I do have a numbering system right up here on the screen will come a number and it's going to be the number three. Well, when I get to the number three product that I've been talking about for the day, I will hold that product up and tell you what it is. And it's going to correspond with whatever the product is I'm holding in my hand. Then you can just jot down that you're interested in number th the number three product, go down into this description box, open up the description box. Next to the number three, there will will be the name of the product that I'm talking about and the link, not only the color, but I will also have the size if we're showing any shirts or anything like that. I could not wait to do this because we are coming up on Amazon Prime Day and that's the 12th and 13th of this month, July. And I will have tons of deals on my actual page. So I'll be updating my community tab, my Instagram, my Facebook. I'll be updating all of that all day long on those two days with whatever I find that's really good deals, but I'm also going to completely update my Amazon page so that you can find all of the good deals. So I'm excited to be doing that and I will start off what we're talking about today with the number one product and that is my shirt. This shirt is all kinds of fun. I found it on just a whim because you guys know how much I love just a good t-shirt. This is a very light jersey knit, very stretchy, um, kind of a dolman sleeve product. So it hits me about halfway on the sleeve and it does have the off the shoulder look to it along with these little straps that are there and they're so cute. I love this. This one little strap keeps falling off my shoulder. So I'm assuming that you can either, you know, lift it up and make it stay there or you can wear it down to like I am. And they do have quite a few different colors in it. I just love this cobalt blue. It's one of my favorite colors. And then we will also get into what I'm wearing today for jewelry. I wore these earrings today because I wanted to wear the necklace with this shirt. I think the silver combination with the gold is very pretty. They are filigree leaves so you get the silver tone and then the gold in the middle just to kind of offset. Now the necklace is kind of just the same exact thing but it's longer and you may have seen it um, when I was standing up there but this matches just perfectly with the earrings and I love it. You can put this also on to another chain if you'd like to wear it a little bit shorter. You could. You could wear it as short as you wanted to but I just like that a lot. Now let me show you the earrings that I actually couldn't decide between today. <laughs> These are a kind of a, almost a fabric type earring. So right here is the little flower drop and it is made out of fabric or almost like a doily type thing. It's really pretty. And then it just has a couple little drops right here and then the little crystal that it drops from. I just thought that was so cute. And then the other one that I had a hard time deciding between that I will show you. And I love to show you butterflies because I know that so many of you love butterflies and I do too and I wear them all the time. I mean probably at least two or three times a week I'm wearing a butterfly earring and these are so cute. They are a butterfly silver filigree that has three different layers of wings. I didn't know that. And then in the middle it just has a little rhinestone. They're so pretty how they lay because they just about catch the light any way you turn and I really like those. All right besides my shirt I kind of showed you my pants as well and I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am about these pants. Now I usually just wear like a really light legging um, made out of maybe cotton and spandex in the summertime and when I'm at home just kind of leisuring around. But if I want to go out, I want a little bit more coverage than that because the lumpies and the bumpies all over the thighs and the butt can really look terrible in leggings. 
<laughs> so I went on the hunt on to Amazon to find some really nice capris and I found these and I am so excited about them. Now I have them in a ton of colors. I bought every color they had because I think they're only like 12 or 13 dollars. These are a large. I always wear a large but what got me in the actual title of it it said super stretchy capri pant or super stretchy something. I was like oh I'm all about that. Well first of all I love having an elastic waistband. I'm sorry, I'm in menopause. I just, you know, when I lost my weight, I have a lot of hanging things. Um, you know, I lost over a hundred pounds. And after you do that and you have three C-sections, your body just ain't like no uh, 25 year old. Sorry, I gotta have some stretch to my pants. These stretch a ton. When they came, I was like, that is no way that those are a large. But boy, they have some stretch in them and they stretch every way, but they don't look bad after they stretch to your body. They actually are very, very cute. And they're a skinny leg, which to me looks a little bit better on me because I am a little bit heavier. So I wear a skinny leg and then I just wear a big top like this. That's a tunic or, you know, something that comes down over the belly and the bum. But I love these. So here's the white. And then these are the navy. I can't find my black pair, but these are the navy. And then I got like, um, this is, I don't know if this was called a teal or what it was called. I can't rem remember. I bought two pairs of the gray, which I love, and then the black. And I am absolutely in love with these. I am all set for every day of the week for capri pads for the whole summer. And they are so comfortable. Let's just stick with fashion for a second. I showed you, I think I showed you a purple pair of these Jackie O glasses. These have the nicest sides or the, you know, the, what are those called? The behind the eerie things, the things that hold them on your eerie things. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. I love these. These are polarized. They are really fashionable though, and I really like them. And I have like three pairs. So now I have a purple, a red, and the blue or the bluish green that I'm showing you right here. So I'm all set for those. I do have a bunch of other sunglasses that I'll share with you later, but I really liked these because they were so comfortable. They don't pinch my head and they don't pinch my nose either. But these are so darn cute and they go with so many of my outfits and I just love that about them. And in sticking with fashion, y'all know that I'm going to have a bunch of purses and I've got three purses for you today and they are so much fun. Okay, first of all, this is just a crossbody purse and I fell in love with it. I think that this one is the medium size. I think it comes in a small and a medium. So I didn't want one that was smaller than this because I have a tendency to carry quite a bit of stuff, but this is big enough for you to carry everything that you practically need. You can carry, you know, your phone, a, a wallet. You can also carry, you know, a little bit of makeup in there, you know, and, and whatever you might need for the day. I also love the detailing on it. I Fell in love with this creamish white color. I loved the way that the black piping just outlined this and it was so cute. So you can carry it if you want to just like a regular handbag or you can use the crossbody right here. And I really think that this is a quality one. I was at first I was a little bit like that's a little bit too expensive, but this one is a really good quality. So I was excited about that. One. This one is a bigger purse. So let me move back just a little bit so you can see. I love a big purse. I am a big purse person. I I loved these rivets on here, this gold detailing rivets. And again, this is a blue. It's almost, I thought it was going to be like a really true blue, but it's like a teal seafoam, really pretty greenish blue. I just really liked it. Has this big buckle on the flap that goes over. It has a big pocket on the back and it does come with the straps, just like the little purse did that you can use and go over your shoulder. I always find that I just put these straps over my shoulder. I don't know if I'm weird or what. My daughter says I am. It has its back pocket here. It's just deep. So you can fit an organizer in there if you want to. And then it of course has the pockets that you can put your cell phone and your sunglasses or your wallet or whatever you want to in there. So I really thought this was so nice. Now this is a little bit heavy but this is so much fun and I was really excited about it. The third one is just basically, okay, I'm going on a trip. I don't want to have to be worried about my purse. I want to be taking pictures or I just don't want to have to carry a bunch of stuff. So this one right here is basically called a cell phone bag. It has the flap over as well with the detailing of the buckle and this one has kind of a gunmetal color to it. It has the long strap that you put over crossbody. 
I love that about it. But I also love that the front pocket right here is the exact size or the perfect size for your cell phone. So you don't have to have anything else in there except for your cell phone. And you won't be going, oh my goodness, where in my purse is my cell phone as it's ringing and you're trying to find it. So you can just put that in there and it's big enough that a big iPhone can fit, fit in here as well. So the biggest phones can go in here, no problem. And then it has a really nice size pocket in here as well. And I was really surprised how big this pocket is because I was thinking, well, I'm not going to be able to fit much in there, but you know, I want to at least be able to put, you know, a wallet or something in there. This could fit a wallet. It could fit your keys and a whole bunch of other stuff, makeup, lip gloss, whatever you wanted to put in there. And yeah, this is really cute. This is very light. It's just really a nice purse to hold your phone and just a few other things and you're ready to go if you're going hiking or whatever. I know most people wear fanny packs or whatever when they go hiking, but I really did like this. All right, let's announce one of our winners. I can't wait to do this. And by the way, thank you guys so much for all of you that entered. So many of you entered. I wish that I could give each and every one of you one of these because you really all have helped me get to this milestone of 100,000. And thank you so much. So the first one was on the tanning video and I'm giving away all of these products for tanning and this pouch. And so the first winner is Connie Smith Fries. So it's Connie Smith Dash Fries. You're the winner. Now I'm going to put up on the screen right here. I'm going to put your name up here so that you know that it's you that you won. And then right underneath here is going to go my email address. It will be down in the description box as well. But my email address is where you're going to go and you're going to email me and say, I'm Connie Smith Fries and you told me I won. Now there are so many scammers going around, you guys. I have had been just hit with it like crazy, especially since I'm doing giveaways. So please, unless you hear your name out of my lips today, don't go after any of those other people in other apps. They are scammers. They are trying to suck you in. Do not go to a third party app. Please, please, please don't do anything like that. All right, let's jump into a hair care product. I'm so excited about this product because I just heard about this not very long ago from another YouTuber and she talked about the Moroccan oil luminous hairspray and this is the finish that's extra strong. Now I have been a die hard Kenra 25 volume hairspray user forever and I still use it. I love it for how it holds and how good it is but I love this for how shiny and pretty it makes your hair. Oh my goodness. The other thing is you could spray this in your hair like 50 times and even though it's going to help you hold your hair, it feels so soft and the shine in it is what just absolutely blew me away. I use a lot of shine products, but I've never seen anything that just was so light. By the way, it has a wonderful fragrance to it. It's so good. It's so light and so airy. And I just, I absolutely love it. I love the fragrance of it. I love the hold of it. It's very easy and it's, it never feels crunchy. I also want to tell you about the Sun Bump 30. If you guys have not discovered this yet, if you need to reapply, you don't want to have a setting spray or you don't want to have to worry about a powder or anything to reapply your skin, skin screen, your sunscreen during the day when you're needing to be out in the sun, but you don't want it to mess with mess with your makeup, this is going to be it. This is so such a fine mist. It really, truly, I can just put it over what I'm doing right now. It's not going to mess with my makeup at all, but I'm going to be protected again. The other thing is it smells great. It has a little bit of a pina colada fragrance to it. You know, you're at the beach or the lake or whatever, and you need to reapply something really quickly. This works so good. And I love that it's an aerosol because it just goes on so fine. So I really wanted to talk about that. I think that is a fantastic product. Another product, let me tell you a story. <laughs> I had uh, this company called Rovectin contact me and they wanted to send me these products. And these seriously, these sat in my drawer back here. This is where I keep all of my extras. These sat in that drawer for probably a, almost a year. And I just always, you know, I always have something I'm trying, something I'm wanting to, you know, figure out. And I didn't even pull these out until very recently. Well, you can see how far down this bottle is. And even this one right here is down. And this is the cream. It's almost gone. So Rovectin is this 
amazing moisturizing company. I mean, I can't even begin to describe to you how blown away I am by all of this. It's hypoallergenic. It's a, this advanced formula. It has all of these hyaluronic acids in it. And this treatment right here, this is so soothing. My husband went out fishing for the first time with my son-in-law and they both got scalded burned. And they came home and I was like, I cannot believe it. <laughs> you know, here I am. I'm always talking about sun care and making sure that you're taken care of and like I don't have, you know, drawers full of sunscreen and everything anyway so they came home so burnt well as soon as the burn went away and then they're left with that that scaly skin that just is doesn't want to come off doesn't want to peel and it hurts it's and this is so soothing this I've used I use probably that much of it for me because I've been using it daily now But the rest of it I used on my husband because he was in so much pain and because it just soothed that skin That was so dry and was just like leather and this this worked wonders. This is absolutely amazing It talks about that you can use this as you know a second cleanse to get everything off You can use it as a prep for your skin to be able to be really plumped up and ready for anything You're going to be putting on it you can use it as your moisturizer all anything you want to use it for i use it as a primary moisture and then i use a moisturizer with spf in it on top of that so i just put it in my hand and then i pat it together and i pat it everywhere and what i've been noticing more than anything is this area my neck is so dry all the time because i have that crepey saggy skin there and i've just been noticing how great it is this is the oil i've been using this everywhere at night so i use this in my hair i use it on my cuticles i use it on my skin my legs that have the you know that crepey crocodile skin on them i've been using it on that it sinks in it's not sticky it's not gonna get your bed all oily or anything like that i mean if you use it a ton of it you're gonna have a problem with it and obviously i use it in my hair but the night before i'm going to actually wash it out of my hair but i use it as a treatment for my hair my hair has been doing so good because of this and again super soothing and then the cream now here here's the reason that i mentioned the cream is also because of my scaly skin like on my arms like this skin right here that's flabby this is the skin that always looks like it's um elephant skin because it's all you know all wrinkly and stuff and this has been plumping that up and it is so good and i love that it always talks about this being uh barrier repair now this is what happened to me so i got um a little bit of a hot a hot water or a boiling water burn right here on my arm and you can probably even see some of the skin is just a little bit different color so I that hurt so bad and my whole arm just bubbled and I was like Oh my goodness, I couldn't use anything. So I started with this and it soothed it so much. And then as it was healing, I used this. They recommend these products for burns, for stretch marks, for any scars that you have because of how soothing they are, but also because they're so moisturizing that they're going to leave you with hardly any scarring at all. I've been using this on my husband's knee where he had his operation. I just can't talk enough good about this kind of stuff okay so i also want to show you this cool little gadget right here now how many of you want to put lotion or tanner on your back but you can't that's what this is about you squeeze your tanner or your lotion or whatever you're going to do and then you can go right onto your back in the winter time it's you know trying to get around to the derriere and back up in between the shoulders back there so yeah this is really great and if you're somebody that even has problems putting lotion on your legs you can put it on there and then you know you don't have to bend all the way over to your legs or your feet or whatever and use that so that is so good and then it also comes with four refills so so when these wear out you can you know get the refills and the other nice thing about it is you can actually just pull this off and wash it um, underneath the tap with soap and water and they come pretty darn clean now i have many times talked about this little baby right here which is a the foot file that is glass and this glass is perforated if you have feet that you are so calloused and nothing has worked for you i have had so many ladies come back and say that this thing 
thing is an absolute jam and i have to agree my feet have never felt softer in using this glass foot file and it has a cap that goes on it right here to keep it safe you know if you're throwing it down in a drawer or whatever or even in luggage if you're taking it somewhere you're not going to get raked across that because that glass is pretty you know it's pretty darn perforated and sharp because it takes those calluses down pretty fast the other one that i also showed you in that tanning video i'm all about glass beauty tool products this one claims to be a hair remover now i love that all of these are very ergonomically shaped so that they they fit in your hand it does take down my husband's hair i mean we were doing it on his arm and he's pretty hairy on his arm and it took all, almost all of the hair off now because he's really hairy we had to work a little bit more but like on myself you just go across wherever you're you know working it in circular motions what it does besides taking the hair and making the hair very fine and, and most of the time because my hair is so light on my arms and I I just have very thin hair there it does it takes it completely off but your skin is so soft this is the most beautiful exfoliating tool my son-in-law tried it my daughter tried it and they're like what kind of magic is this anyway it's really good and it's not very much and i just thought it might be something that you guys might be interested in now the third thing that i want to talk to you about that's glass and i have talked about this before on my channel are glass files for your nails now i learned very recently that not all glass files are created equally there is somewhere in the world that they make it and i can't remember the name where it is made right now but i'll flash it on the screen there's somewhere in the world that they make these that is so much better than just the average one that they're putting out for mass consumers and what you want to do is you really do want to get the ones that are made in this specific country because they just know how to do it what this does in place of an emery board an emery board will chew your nail to where it really just feels rough afterwards unless you're really being very careful an emery board will make the whole end of your nail kind of split open so then that's why you might get peeling or you might get some cracking this actually seals your nail as you file it you definitely are doing so much for your nail if you get these instead of using an emery board or a nail file like you buy at the drugstore this one right here came with this set and it's a cuticle um, remover if you need to do that and so it comes with the big one and it comes with this small one that i carry in my purse and i love them i absolutely love them and of course you knew i was going to get the purple i couldn't get anything but but this is such a good set and i absolutely think it's wonderful i also went on the hunt the other day for the perfect in your purse makeup case so i wanted something small but I wanted something that had compartments so that I didn't have to have just a plain bag, you know, that's this big, that's in the bottom of your purse. You open it up, you got to look through a ton more makeup or whatever, right, to get down into whatever you want to. So I came across this. It's quilted on the outside and it's very easy to clean. So if you spill anything on it, it's nylon and you just kind of, you know, wipe it off with a microfiber or whatever. I saw this on Amazon. I was so excited because first of all, you can fit brushes down in here. I don't have brushes i have those nail files i just showed you you can fit brushes down in this side you can fit um foundation down in here powders whatever you want to anything that you need to keep super secure you're going to be able to you know kind of organize it a little bit and then in this side has more dividers and then a big pocket right down the middle for any loose lip glosses or whatever you need and these two big dividers on the side like i have this blush right here on this one and I was so excited about this because you get to organize that little bit of makeup that you take in your purse, but it doesn't take up a ton of space and you're still protecting your makeup because it's cushioned as well. So this was a great find for me. I was so excited about this. So let's go ahead and announce our second winner on the second video, which was the 20 worst products from 20 different brands. That you're, the winner is Sarah Smith. Sarah, you are winning that bunch of goodies that I put in this little bin right here for you. Of course, they won't come in the bin, but you are the winner of that. And again, I'm gonna put my email right across here. Your comment will be right here, Sarah. So Sarah Smith, you are the winner, the second winner in the giveaway of the 100K that we're going to. I have a lot more on my table, but I'm running out of time and I feel really bad that I'm not gonna get to everything. These are just flat, um, organizers and basically i just put my brushes in here but these are just my eye brushes now yes 
I have a ton, but keep in mind, this is my job. This is what I do for a living, but these are all of my eye brushes. So I don't have to look through any sort of a bin trying to find, you know, out of a bunch of cups where, which eye brush I want. I usually keep my, the ones that I wear all the time, right in the front here. This does fold. So if you're somewhere and you need this to stand up and you're doing your makeup on a vanity, this will fold and stand on a vanity for you. I love this thing. But I do have another one that I actually keep my lip liners in. And yes, I know this is a lot, but this is my job. I compare these all the time for you guys. And I love being able to see them instead of have them having them buried in a drawer or instead of having them, okay, and you know, I try to keep them like, these are my Sephora ones, my Natasha Denona ones, my Rimmel ones. And I will refer you back to that video that I did of a bunch of different makeup cases and stuff. I'll put that down below so you that you can see that. But this has been absolutely invaluable to me. All right, let's go ahead and let's announce that third winner, Tamara Bainter. I'm gonna put your comment right up here, my email across here. You're the one that went one on the one where I was opening up about some of the things that are going on in my life again. This is your goodie bag. This is gonna go out to you. Please email me and you'll be able to give me your address and I'll be able to get those out to you. So that's all three winners, which I'm really excited about. I wore different rings today. I wore this ring because you guys are always talking or asking me about that amethyst ring that I wear. This isn't it, but this is a really close duplicate to it. So I did wear a few different rings today for you guys to see. And these I will, all of them, I'll make sure I link them for you. And I load it up so you guys can see because this is a fashion and a makeup video. So I have a little amethyst one here. Of course, my wedding ring. I love this thumb ring right here that has, these are all CZs. So I'll make sure that I link every one of those for you as well. That's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. I hope that everybody is excited about the winners. I did say that I was going to put another giveaway in this video, but I think I'm gonna hold off because I wanted to put some specific products in here and they hadn't come yet. Yet. And so I want to have all of that together and that will be our hurrah about a hundred thousand By the way, if you're interested in those flicking candles right there or if you're interested in the tree I get asked about those all the time I will put links for both of those things for you so that you can go and you can find them and you can buy them for yourself They're Amazon products as well right here is gonna go up the the last Amazon video I did for you guys. Please take care of yourselves I love you guys so very much and I will catch you all in my very next next video. Goodbye, my friends.